Man, what a weird dream. I had this dream where seven fat cows and then there were seven skinny cows and somehow the skinny cows ate the fat cows and then I woke up because I was like that can't be real went back to sleep then I had a dream about seven good stalks of corn and seven skinny ugly stalks of corn and somehow the corn ate itself man I wonder if I can call them my magicians I wonder if anybody can tell me what this means the magicians and wise men had no idea what this dream could mean. If you don't mind me asking, sir, what is wrong? You must know, my cupbearer, I had a very strange dream. I may know somebody that can help you, sir. A Hebrew. His name is Joseph. I'll go get him for you. Joseph puts on his best garments and shows up at Pharaoh's palace. You called upon me, sir. How may I help? Well, Joseph, I had a dream that these seven fat cows were, and then there were seven skinny cows, and somehow the seven skinny cows swallowed up the seven fat cows. Woke up, then went back to sleep, had a dream that these seven stalks of corn, nice and pretty, and then there were seven ugly stalks of corn, not so pretty. Somehow corn ate itself, the bad corn ate the good corn. Joseph, what does it mean? Well, sir, what God is telling you is that there are going to be seven years where you will have plenty. There will be food abundant. And then there will be seven years where there is no food to be found. Well, Joseph, what should we do about this? What you're going to have to do is store up food while you have plenty so that you will have food available for later. Great, Joseph. I'm going to make you in charge of making all that happen. During these years where there was no food, people came from all over, from many other countries, to buy the food that Joseph had stored up in Egypt. Hello! So we see Joseph has been given great responsibility in taking care of the food stored up in Egypt. God raised Joseph to a position to feed people during the famine to save them from death. God raised Jesus, who is the bread of life, from the dead to save us from eternal hell. Our memory verse from John 3, 36. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life, but whoever rejects the Son will not see life, for God's wrath remains on them. So where does that leave you and me? How does the life of Joseph, the life of Jesus, affect you and me in today's COVID-19 epidemic where we have to stay in the house, can't go to church or out to a sporting event, as God was faithful to Joseph through lots of struggles that came his way. So the Lord is faithful to us on our journey to follow him. There are two parts to the Christ connection. Believe in Jesus, life here on earth, and life in heaven. Reject Jesus, selfish life here on earth, and be tormented in hell. Let the powerful truths we've studied in the life of Joseph carry over to your life today. When we turn our heart over to Jesus, asking him to forgive us of sin and look to him to guide our life, we are actually living out a life like Joseph did. He had many things go wrong in his life, but his attitude toward God was one of following him obeying what God said in his word and not allowing his culture to influence him. We are praying for you today that God will lead and guide you in all you do and say. We love you. Bye-bye.